Hi everyone. So um, this is going to be my how to dye your hair with the John Frieda Precision Foam Color um, at Home Dye Pack, I guess. Um, this is my hair finished. I've just styled it. Um, this is the color 10N. Bear in mind the results will be slightly different depending on um, the colour of your hair to begin with. I have a lot of blonde highlights in my hair, which I think is the reason the ends have come so blonde. Um, and then my roots are a little bit gingery due to the regrowth of my natural hair colour was quite... Um, it wasn't dark brown, but it was a brown, so that sort of alters the colour it comes out at. But yeah, um, all in all, it probably takes you about maybe 45 minutes to an hour from starting to put the dye on to having your hair completely finished to like walk out the house. So obviously the tutorial is nowhere near that long as the tutorial is um, just me showing you how to dye, like put the dye on and that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, I hope this tutorial is helpful. Let me know in the comments below and please do subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks everyone, enjoy the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is in our box we have... the bottle like this with number one on. Now this is our developer and then we have a bottle with number two on and this is our colouring. Just check that the number on the bottle is actually the number corresponding to the colour hair you want. 10N is correct for me. And the other thing you would want is a little spray pump in there. It is bent and it is also meant to be bent. Um, and it just sits like that. That's just so you can get in the corner of the developer bottle. Um, a vital thing for this before we start is never shake the developer, not at all. So the only things we've got in there is conditioner and latex gloves in the box. So you just open up the developer and the colourant. Just thought um, I might actually, for the sake of the tutorial, put the gloves on now. That might well be a good idea for yourselves as well. Um, just in case, like, whilst you're using the colour of the developer to mix them together, they might, um, um I'm not trying to get out, they might um, get on your skin and harm your skin. So we're going to put on the attractive little gloves now. I have an old pyjama top on as well. If you don't have any old tops, do put a towel over your shoulders. So, open up the colourant. Pour that into your developer. The whole thing. You'll notice you get the two colours mix at the bottom there. Screw in the pump. And it's vital you do not shake this, you just tilt it. Five times, there's so many times the instructions so that's we don't want to tell me wrong. Five times, so yeah, that's right. And then what we need to do then is squeeze the bottle and the foam will come out and up the pump. The first thing I'm going to do that is open my bathroom window um, because it does stink the out. Like, literally, this will stink out the whole house. So I'm just going to squirt a bit into my hand and I am going to turn, it comes out like a foam like this. I'm, I've got a little mirror here, I think I am just in shot but I'm just going to start by applying it to my roots because that's the area that needs to cook the longest. So I've now got that packed on my roots. The times you want to use is 10 minutes for the roots and then an extra 10 minutes. You've got any roots for 10 minutes because they need to cook, like I say, the longer. Sorry it's saying cook, but it's not cook at all. It's what my hairdresser used to say, develop. The colour needs to develop the longest on the roots. Make sure you massage deep into the scalp. You see the, the length of my hair is completely dry still. I've not put any hair dye on that. Just 
So I started applying to my roofs at 5 to 10. And at 5 past 10, I will then put it on the rest of my hair. And then I'll leave that until about 25 past. So what I didn't say at the beginning, but we'll try and remember to say this in the introduction, um, a skin test does need to be done for this hair dye. You do do a skin test. The packet says um, in the crook of your arm here, um, I did my skin test behind both my ears. Um, and you can do it for 48 hours. I did do it before I used the pack the first time. I haven't used it this time around. Okay, so I've left my roots on for 10 minutes. And now I'm going to foam up the rest of my hair. Oh, I did not just drop some on the floor. I mean, now I feel like I've got enough product on, but look how much I've got left. And look, look my hair is absolutely coated in it. And I'll try and use the rest up. Just lasts. If you have short hair, I don't think there's any way you could uh, use all this up. I'll say this quickly now before the camera dies. Once all this is uh, on your hair, you need to leave it for 20 minutes. About 10 to 20 minutes. I'm going to leave mine about 15. Um, if you have stubborn grey hair or you want to bring your hair a lighter colour, you can leave it for 20 minutes. Um, I'm going to just leave mine for about 15, just sit in the middle, but you never exceed 30 minutes. 30 minutes is the longest this can stay on. left. My camera's about to go. Okay, so I'll say this now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish putting this on and then I'm going to leave my hair for 10 minutes um, and then just jump in the shower and wash it off. Can you see that? I'm just going to literally leave this now for 10 minutes, jump in the shower, wash it off and then I will come back to you. I just thought I'd do a really quick update. Um, my camera died whilst I was putting on the last of the foam. Um, I didn't use up that whole bottle of product um, and I have really long hair so if you aren't able to use it all up then, I mean, um, yeah, then that's like fine because I mean I couldn't use it all up and I've got really long hair. So I'm actually going to take my necklace off. So the last step you need to do, obviously I'm just going to wash this off in the shower in about 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes so I would have had the product on my hair for 25 minutes in total, 10 on the roots, 15 on the rest. Um, you use this step three, which is the conditioner. Now, all what you do is you just get in the shower um, and then rinse out all the hair dye and you rinse until the water runs clear. Um, and then this is like mind blowing, but do not use shampoo. Um, when I read this, first of all, I was like, what? You want me to just condition my hair? But all you do is you put enough of this conditioner just for the hair to saturate, and then you leave it for two to five minutes. Um, you don't put in any shampoo at all. You don't wash it again afterwards. Just put in a conditioner, 
um, leave it two to five minutes and then rinse that out and then just dry your hair and style it as normal. And trust me, it is not greasy. I have done it before and I did think it was really greasy but it wasn't. So yeah, I'm going to check the time and then I'm just going to hop in the shower and wash this out, condition my hair and then I'll come back to you. So that was my tutorial for the John Feeder Precision Femme Colour. Um, hair dye. I mean I use the colour 10N like I say in the tutorial. Um, I really hope you found that helpful. Um, I would love to see um, sort of pictures if you dye this colour to so I'd love to see what different tones people other people can get on their hair. Um, also let me know um, what you thought to the dye. Like if you've if you've done like a review video, um, put that in the video video responses. I have done a review on this colour, um, it was a previous video on my channel, I will link that in the description box below. Um, I did the review and then I thought well I might as well do a tutorial as well because I mean I love this hair dye. I've never dyed my hair um, before the time that I reviewed it so this is the second time like total I've dyed my hair in myself and I love this hair dye so yeah I really hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Leave me your comments and video responses and please don't forget to click up there and subscribe if you uh, haven't already. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye everyone!